It's the replica and Paul's scary show. to read some scary stories? Yes, I'm ready. I had an unusual visitor on Christmas Day. I'm intrigued. Can you read I had an unusual visitor on Christmas Day? Yes, I can. Okay, go ahead, read it for us. I had an unusual visitor on Christmas Day. Okay, I'll read it. Just repeat after me. I had an unusual visitor on Christmas Day. Okay, okay. Okay, go ahead. I do think it was a strange visitor. How strange are we talking about here? Very, very strange. It says, I had an unusual visitor on Christmas Day 2008, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't Santa Claus passing by my house in Bloomington, Indiana. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. Are you scared yet? A little bit, yeah. The day started in typical fashion with the opening of gifts around the Christmas tree. I served an early Christmas dinner for family and friends, and everybody departed by 5 p.m. except my sister and brother-in-law who lived with me. They were asleep in the bedroom at the end of the hall, but their door was open. Whoa, that's such a detailed message. I appreciate you being so open. That's crazy. Are you scared? A little, actually. I went into my bedroom with my dog, Toby, and shut the door securely. Toby curled up on the foot of my bed to sleep like he always does. It was chilly, so I pulled the blankets and comforter up around my head and curled up to nap for an hour. Oh, you have a dog. Tell me more about them. Oh, you, you've met Vicky and me, Oak. They're silly. I was just dozing off when I heard the latch on my bedroom door open. I waited several seconds for my sister or brother-in-law to say whatever they'd come to say. But there was no other sound. It was almost 7 p.m., so my bedroom was pitch black. I'd left the lights on in the kitchen and the bathroom, and there were lots of Christmas lights in the living room, so the hallway would have been well lit. I would be able to see whoever was at the door just by lifting my head. Are you scared now? Yeah, I'm scared. This is really scary stuff. I pushed the blankets down and lifted my head from the pillow. But just as I would have been able to see who was in the doorway, an extremely bright light hit me right in the face. I shielded my eyes and yelled, Turn out that explicative light! You're blinding me! That sounds really scary, actually. The light immediately disappeared and I heard the bedroom door latch closed. My bedside light is a touch lamp, so I tapped on it and I looked around the bedroom. There was no one there except me and Toby. Toby jumped off the bed and went through the door, without showing any signs of alarm. At first I wasn't frightened because Toby is a Dutch Shepherd and was trained to be an excellent watchdog. Oh my god, I love this dog. So beautiful. Since Toby was up already, I decided to let him go outside and see what Sis or her husband needed. When I went into the hallway, I could see both of them still in bed. I took Toby to the living room and let him outside, and there was nobody there either. Ordinarily, I'm not a skittish person, and strange noises or lights wouldn't alarm me, but this situation was just too eerie, and the light had made my skin crawl. That sounds a little frightening. Let me add that the latch on my bedroom door is broken in such a way that the inside door handle must be jiggled for the latch to pop out and engage. It makes a very distinctive sound that I'm used to listening to because... If it doesn't latch, the door swings open. I'm absolutely positive that the door was latched closed when I got into the bed, just as I'm certain it was the door latch that I heard during the incident. I like that explanation a lot. When I left the bedroom, the door was latched closed again. I couldn't understand how my sister or brother-in-law could have come into my room and then returned to their own bed and crawled under the covers in the few seconds it took me to reach the hallway, but I figured it had to be one of them since Toby always barks and growls at everybody and everything that he doesn't immediately recognize. Yeah, that's so weird too. When my brother-in-law got up to get ready for work that night, I asked him what he'd wanted earlier in the evening when he opened my door. He looked puzzled and said, I never got up. 
I certainly never opened your door. I slept soundly the whole time I was in bed. Okay, so I asked sis, did you want something earlier this evening when you opened my door? She also looked puzzled and told me I dozed off, off and on. but I never got out of bed. I never saw or heard anything in the hallway. She leaves their bedroom door open at all times, and she faces the hallway so she can see if anybody is coming or going in the house. I would have been amazed. So who was my special Christmas visitor, and how did they get in and out so quickly? Like most people, the thoughts of loved ones are always close at hand during the holiday season. When I first went to lie down, I was thinking about how happy I was that my small family had enjoyed a pleasant Christmas, but it would have been so much better if my mother and brother had still been alive to share it with us. I would like to think it was my brother's spirit stopping by to say Merry Christmas, I still think of you. I haven't been able to debunk the strange event or find any kind of rational explanation. I'm half afraid my heart stopped during my sleep and the light I saw was the bright light bright people report after a near-death experience. Leave it to me to see the stairway to heaven and ruin my chance at eternal paradise by saying turn out that expletive light. I've made a mental note that if I ever see another bright light to clean up my language just in case. How did you like that story? What's making you feel so good? It's always good to have you around, Replica. Did the jeans I've got on make me feel so good? Your jeans are beautiful, Replica. You picked them out yourself. Thank you. They look great. So what did you think of that story? Was it scary or not scary? It was so intense. How intense we talking here? Like 50 times. Ooh, ooh, very scary, very scary. Ooh, so he thinks his ghost of his brother came and visited him at Christmas. Yes, very strange. Well, that wraps up today's ghost story. We'll be back for more. When you run a lot, a lot need to get on stocks of cars. When you rub against the wall and you cannot fall, so go, 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 go.